24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can count on the SES to be there when you need them the most. And today, we're going to introduce you to some of the 1,700 highly trained SES volunteers. We are just out of the city. We're here in a quarry. They're training today here. I'm in a buggy. I'm really excited, guys. You could be an SES volunteer too. We're going to go learn more about them. Sam, are you ready? Yep. Start the buggy up. Let's go. Wow. When extreme weather strikes, the SES is at its busiest. In state four line, over. Across our state, they respond to thousands of calls for help each year. Receive and acknowledge, over. Volunteers are spread across SA to provide a reliable, statewide rescue and response capability, and they get together to train once a week. Cliff rescue, vehicle and chainsaw operation, I can't think of a better place to see it all in action. Christy Phelps is the Director of Corporate and Operations Support and I wanted to find out more on what it's like to volunteer. So Christy, tell us a little bit about the SES. The SES is a volunteer-based agency. We've got 1,700 amazing volunteers. We've got 67 units across South Australia and we run 24-7-365. Now tell me, you do have a really great mix of men and women in your team as well, don't you? 100%. I'm really proud to say that a third of our volunteer base is female and we really value diversity. Everyone's welcome. These are some of the volunteers who dedicate their time to keep us safe. To be an SES volunteer means I get to make new friends, learn new skills and help my community and do specialised training on the weekends. How often could you say that you learn to drive a utility terrain vehicle on the weekend? That's what Alicia is doing. I love being a volunteer because we get to learn all these new skills uh, and meet so many friendly and nice people as well. And it doesn't get more adventurous and exciting than rescuing someone from a cliff. So Tom, how long have you been a volunteer with the SES? I've been with the SES for about four and a half years now, volunteering at the Norlunga unit. Now talk us through some of the skills, the technical skills you've learnt being, being a volunteer. Yeah, so some of the technical rescue skills that we have, um, I've learned uh, vertical rescue, I also have swift water rescue skills, so it can help keep the community safe. Volunteering for the SES is a rewarding and very special thing to do. Think about how you spend your weekends. Yeah, I enjoy volunteering because it gives me a sense of purpose. Coming out of my old job in the military, I was looking for a team sort of building environment where I can use my skills and integrate with people, and that's why I volunteer. I volunteer to meet new people and learn new skills. I joined the SES probably 18 months ago now, and I've done a range of different courses and jobs. You've got your chainsaw skills, and UTV buggy driving, land search, we help the police out with forensic searches um, and rescue skills as well. I do this outside of my nine to five, so I have a full-time job, but I like to volunteer in my spare time. Um, it really gives me a sense of purpose and I get to give back to the community as well. If you're watching right now, get your phone out and if you want to find out how you can volunteer with the SES, scan this QR code or head to the SES website or call the number on your screen. So there's 67 SES units across the state and here today in the quarry we've had Nolunga, Prospect, Western, Tea Tree Gully, everyone coming together, honing in and learning new skills and you know what I've witnessed? Camaraderie, friendship, it's been unbelievable. If you're sitting at home going, should I volunteer, shouldn't I volunteer, I hope we've shown you today that you should volunteer. So I just want to say from everyone here in South Australia to the 1700 SES volunteers, thank you for keeping us safe.